Greetings everybody, my name's Fringlish, and today I'm going over dragons. Mythical beast from the Valerian stronghold, capable of raising entire armies, and you can use them to gather more grain. But, disregarding that, what we're going to do is look at the dragon skills. More specifically, their passive skills you can add, what's the best way, what's the best items, and how to upgrade them properly. As you can see, I've prepared for this by getting far too many skill badges, so let's go through the options. A good rule of thumb is that dragons are, should be used for combat. Now, while you can use them for gathering, you need to make sure you need to then send your dragon out to gather that specific resource. What you really want to do is have the dragon available for rallies and helping. Here you can see gold dragon gathering, an extra two and a half percent. Sounds nice, but in the grand scheme of things, with gathering times over 300-400%, it doesn't equate to a lot. You're much better off going for attack, health, and then defense badges. The best badges to choose, of course, are legendary. Here you see a level 5 spearman attack bonus. This not only gives my, my troops 7% extra spearman attack, but if I attach it to a rally, it gives 7% to the entire rally. Meaning that if you balance out in your alliance, you can buff all your troops, attack, defense, and health in a rally. Now, it is should be noted that it can only stack up to 60%, so there's no point going over when it comes to being in a rally. But what exactly should you choose? So how should we start off when we're looking to upgrade our dragon? Well, it is tempting to go for the gold, but they are a lot more expensive. What you should do is start off with purple. The best thing to do is go for attack and then health for the three main frontline troop types. So we'll have the spearman attack, the infantry attack, the cavalry attack, and then the corresponding health. So spearman, infantry, and cavalry. To upgrade a purple or an epic to level 5 is the same as to upgrade a gold to level 4. You need it to level 5 in order to participate in the rallies, so it's a lot better getting purple first. Now it should be noted that when you upgrade any skills, you do not lose any experience. Any experience at all. So by upgrading the purple to level 6, it's the same as upgrading your gold to level 5. The only difference being that you gain the bonus a level earlier, therefore helping your alliance out more. Here you can see what I'm going to do is upgrade this spearman attack. Uh, I'm going to throw in all the normals, all the uncommons, and the rares. Uh, then I'm going to throw in some more. So we're going to up to level 3 now. Throw in a few more rares. And just a couple more uncommons. Jesus, I had a lot of badges. There you go, one level 5 spearman attack. So, as you can see, from the level 5 I get spearman attack 5.3% and spearman attack in rallies 5.3%. Level 5 being the minimum you need to help your alliance. As I said before, upgrading a purple to level 6 is the same as upgrading gold to level 5. So I'll quickly upgrade this purple to level 6 and then we'll see what it looks like. There we go, now that we have the purple level 6, we can immediately turn that into a gold level 5 without any loss. So we have cavalry attack here, which is just a level 0. We put in our level 6 spearman, and we have a gold level 5. So don't be afraid to change these talents when needed. You're not locked in. The experience will always be there. As you can see, we're slightly over level 5 because it's counting the purple that we originally upgraded to 6 as well. No experience is ever lost. Just as a quick recap, the best thing to do is upgrade your fighting talents. Make the rallies perfect, so when you send your dragon, you can increase the attack first, then the health, then the defense. Make sure to work with other players in your alliance to get the best rallies overall, as you can send over 30 dragons. And that is a force to be wary of. I've been Fringlish with Forgotten Games. If you like this video, make sure to share and subscribe to the YouTube channel. It really helps us out. Till next time.